Hey hackers, welcome back to Intruder Security. In this video, we are going to explore one of the most powerful tools in our ethical hacking, Burp Suit. Whether you're a bug bounty hunter or a web application pen tester, this tool is an absolute game changer for testing web applications and uncovering vulnerabilities. Burp is an essential offensive security tool. It is used by a majority of professionals and is dedicated mainly to pen testing web applications. So without wasting much time, let's get started. Before going any further, it is important to note that Burpsuit is available in two different versions, Burpsuit Community version and Burpsuit Professional version. The first is free, but has fewer and more limited features than the paid professional version. For now, we will be going through the Burpsuit community version and is enough for our manual pen testing. This video is an explanatory video and does not involve installing and configuring Burp. Please refer our previous video to install and configure Burp with Foxy Proxy. Burp's overall operation is modular. Some of its modules are installed by default on the software. These are the essential modules for conducting an audit. Other complementary modules called extensions are available for download via the extender. These are the essential modules for conducting an audit. Let's explore the Burp Suite's features in depth. Burp Suite interface. When you fire it up, you're greeted with a dashboard that's jam-packed with features. Don't worry, we'll break it down step by step. First thing first, the dashboard. Consisting of active live tasks. This tab is more useful when you are using a pro version of Burp Suite. Live tasks are scans that run in the background while you manually explore the target website using Burp's browser or when you send requests from Burp Repeater and Intruder. They enable you to perform some scanning operations, such as auditing for vulnerabilities or adding resources to Burp's target site map. Automatically, second feature of Burp is the interception proxy. Burp Suite's main feature is the proxy. The proxy enables Burp to act as an intermediary between the client that is your web browser and the server hosting the web application. By placing itself between these two components, Burp will be able to intercept all exchanges and requests made between the web browser and the server. The pen tester will therefore be able to analyze the requests in detail and, if it wishes, modify them. To modify requests, the proxy intercepts requests one by one and lets the pen tester choose whether to let them through or reject them. If it lets them through, it can modify them before transmitting them to the server. The proxy also allows the history of requests to be viewed level without having to transmit them manually to the server. In fact, this is the proxy's most frequently used mode. Next is Burp Repeater. The repeater is the module that allows requests to be replayed at will. As its name suggests, the pen tester will be able to repeat requests and modify them as it sees fit before sending them to the server. It can then analyze the server's response according to what it has modified. The repeater is often used to manually identify and exploit vulnerabilities. Burp Intruder The intruder is a powerful tool that can be used to automate the sending of a request containing a customized payload. For example, the intruder can be used to automatically increment a value and send each increment to the server. The intruder will enable the pen tester to automate tedious tasks that are impossible to carry out manually, such as sending several thousand requests. The possibilities for using the intruder are virtually infinite, allowing several payloads of the same or different types to be added. The intruder has a positions tab where the pen tester can define the position of the payload in the request. Just select the positions and click on add. He can then choose the type of payload to inject in the payloads tab. Here, let's add a file which includes numbers from 1 to 100. Then simply press the Start Attack button to launch the intruder with our configuration. A window will appear showing the results of the various requests. Here we go, we have multiple requests going on. Burpsuit Pro has more faster abilities to send the payloads. Next is Target tab. The Target tool enables you to define which targets are in scope for your current work. It also contains the Sitemap and Crawl Paths tab which show you detailed information about your target applications. You can use the information about your target application's content and functionality to drive the workflow for your penetration testing. The sitemap gives you a bird's eye view of the application's architecture, 
while the scope allows you to define which parts of the site you want to include in your testing. Burp also includes a built-in decoder. Burp Decoder enables you to transform data using common encoding and decoding formats. Decoder enables you to apply layers of transformations to the same data. This allows you to unpack or apply complex encoding schemes. Just paste the encoded or plain text, select what to decrypt or encrypt, and you are good to go. Burp Suite also allows you to add multiple extensions. Extensions are the essence of Burp's community spirit. It is possible to add extensions developed both by Port Swigger and by the community to meet additional needs and extend Burp's capabilities. The last module we are going to explore is the Comparer. Burp Comparer enables you to compare any two items of data. You can use Comparer to quickly and easily identify subtle differences between requests or responses. Just hit right click on any two responses or requests and click on Send to Comparer. The comparison results open in a new window which displays the compared items in two panels. The items are color-coded to indicate each modification, deletion, and addition required to transform the first item into the second. Any text that isn't highlighted is found in both items. That's it, guys. I hope you found this video helpful. Please do like, share, and subscribe the channel if you feel your knowledge has expanded by at least a bite. Also, do share your thoughts, suggestions in the comment section below. See you guys in next video. Till then, happy hacking.